All right, guys, and welcome back to Ask NK. In today's video, we'll be talking about uh, something that is, you know, coming around. And it has actually shown itself for a while. And we are just thinking and hoping and praying that the guys at Algorithmic is going to make this possible. And I'm talking about nothing more than the Substance Alchemist. And the Substance Alchemist is one of those tools you're going to find awesome and amazing, especially if you're into material creation. It has a much more procedural and, you know, artistic way when you get to create your materials. When I mean procedural, I'm not talking about you being able to connect nodes. I'm talking about the fact that you can layer things up and you can go ahead and play with them depending on how you choose. And the minute you launch this app, you're going to be able to find three tabs. And these three tabs include the explore, the inspire, and finally the create. And individual tabs like this, they give you uh, a room for you to be able to do very, very specific tasks. And this reminds me so much about the Affinity Photo and also the Affinity Designer. We're going to talk about the whole Affinity Suit later in future within this channel. But now for this particular video, let's go on. With the UI launched, one of the very first things you're going to note is that it has a much more of a quick sell uh, mixer look and you can find out that the UI completely looks the same speaking about the explore inspire and create the, within the explore tab you would be able to explore various materials substance sources SBR SBSR files that you have probably installed and you know imported into your alchemist within the inspire tab you will be able to you know get some image references the same way you get image references when you're working with designer and automatically because the substance alchemist has a much more artificial intelligence approach to select colors it's going to be able to select colors and you know give you ideas of how much color or what kind of color you may want to use and you can bring in different images as references and also reference those colors, which makes a lot of sense. Then once you're done with that, you can move over to the create tab where you can go ahead and tweak that. And actually the create tab seems to be where the entire phone is because within the create tab, you can simply play around with different filters and presets that exist there. One of the very favorite one, which I've seen them talk about a lot more is the material splitter. And within the material splitter, you'll be able to load up various materials and go ahead and just simply play with them. Loading up various materials simply means you can drag in and drag out and then you can scatter them depending on how you want them to be in your scene. There's a couple of more filters that you can find there like your clone, your your rust, your snow. There's a couple of adjustments there as well that has to do with your crop tool. You can find uh, color correction tool sets that are existing there and even a pavement pattern. And for some reason, every single time I keep looking at this, it reminds me of Quixel, the Quixel mixer. And we have very similar mode of uh, working system here. I think they work exactly the same. But then, just like I said earlier, every single time you go to the website, there is no feasible information about it, whether it's going to come out or whether it's not going to come out. But seeing that, beta testing yesterday simply suggests that the project is not dead and it is still alive and kicking it's also what's saying that the viewport is powered by OpenGL, and also what's saying that whenever you're using the inspire to select colors that they have something like an algorithm that simply goes through to give you different color variation so if you choose a different color strategy you're going to get a different color variation this is something i did not find and i'm not thinking that the guys at quicksell have actually thought about or maybe they've thought about it not implemented it yet i i think maybe over time we might get to see some improvement and i'm actually up for the entire competition that's going on my only fear about this is once this app comes out, it may limit the amount of users that go or that may limit the amount of artists that uses the Substance Designer. Of course, you can still obviously do your Substance Designer filters and bring them over here. But I think a couple of users or a couple of artists will choose to, you know, work here rather than go over to Substance Designer. Knowing fully well that you can, you know, iterate and do your stuff real fast and export them to Substance Painter and maybe any other DCC app of your choice and work with it directly there. My other concern is I actually see something that happened a few years ago. I see it repeating itself. We can all remember when the D do, the 3 do, and the N do was available, and it was more of a competition between Substance and the guys that presently own Quixel. And then we didn't really know which was which. Over obviously, 
it would have made a lot of sense if it was a standalone app but we went on and on like that and now i see history trying to repeat itself again is the alchemist definitely going to take on or maybe defeat the quick sell the both of them are in beta now and so i don't really know but i think with the way things are going that we may be in for a very good surprise or a very good ride because there's just a lot of features that i'm seeing here and i'm also noticing that these are the guys that are keeping up with the pace so i don't know what you guys think i would like to know what you think about this in the comment section below would you be up for alchemist when it's out would you want to better test it would you want the beta to be made open because presently now it is closed and i don't know what you think about this do you think that quicksell is going to stand a chance when alchemist is out or do you think that alchemist is definitely not going to stand a chance when quicksell is out following the fact that maybe it's going to be poorly managed or maybe it's going to underperform since our algorithmic is now owned by adobe i would like to know what your thoughts are in the comment section below and if you like this video simply give it a like and don't forget to share with your friends and if you're new here it would be amazing if you can hit that subscribe button and also turn on notification and until i see you guys next time with the rant review updates news tips and tricks or tutorial peace